dear students welcome to my channel dr v r pudli professor of management and economics in this video i am dealing with ebit and eps analysis case studies ebit and eps analysis case studies Case study one. Flipkart has rupees twenty lakhs of total investment, and the capital structure is as follows: one, eight percent debentures of rupees five lakhs, two, ten thousand equity shares at the rate of hundred each, outstanding, three, five thousand numbers. 5% preference shares at the rate of 100 each it is in the 20% tax bracket assuming rupees 1 lakh 36000 earning before interest and tax shortly known as ebit calculate earning per share shortly known as eps dear students i had given two columns in ebit and eps analysis format in first column i had shown particulars in second column i had shown financial plan and amounts ebit in this problem is given as 136000 we need to deduct interest from ebit in order to get earnings before taxes interest is calculated as 40000 the calculations were shown under working note number 1 in the next slide after subtracting 40000 interest from ebit of 136000 we obtain earnings before taxes of 96000 here the company is in 20% tax bracket tax amount calculation was shown in the next slide under working note number 2 here taxes are calculated as 19200 after deducting taxes of 19200 from earnings before taxes of 96000 we got earnings after taxes of 76800 now we need to subtract preference dividend from earnings after taxes in order to calculate earnings available to ordinary shareholders the amount of preference dividend was calculated as 25000 under working note number 3 in the next slide after deducting 25000 from earnings after taxes of 76800 we got earnings available to ordinary shareholders of 51800 the number of shares in the company was given as 10000 therefore earning per share is equal to earnings available to ordinary shareholders divided by number of shares here 51800 is divided with 10000 and we got earning per share value of 5.18 dear students in this slide i had given working notes of the previous case study one interest 8% debentures were given worth of 5 lakhs therefore interest is equal to 5 lakhs into 8 by 100 that is equal to 40000 two taxes the company is in 20% tax bracket earning before taxes are 96000 and multiplied by 20 by 100 which gives us the amount of 19200 three preference dividend is calculated by taking into consideration 5000 shares at the rate of 100 and preference dividend percentage is 5% therefore the preference dividend is obtained as 25000 Case study three. Redbox has 
rupees 1 lakh of total investment and has the following capital structure 1 10% debentures of rupees 50000 2 3000 equity shares outstanding of 10 each worth of rupees 30000 3 5% 2000 preference shares of rupees 10 each worth of rupees 20000 4 it is in the 10% tax bracket Assuming three levels of EBIT, one that is 30,000, two that is 50,000, and three that is 70,000, calculate the changes in EPS. Dear students, for finding solution for case study three, I had used four column table. In the first column, I had taken particulars. In the second column, I had taken financial plan A and in the third column, I had taken financial plan B and in the fourth column, I had taken financial plan C. EBIT was given as 30,000 for financial plan A, 50,000 for financial plan B and 70,000 for financial plan C. Interest is calculated as 5000 for all financial plans and the calculations were shown in the next slide. After deducting interest from EBITs, we got earnings before taxes of 25000 for financial plan A, 45000 for financial plan B and 65000 for financial plan C. The company is in tax bracket of 10%. Taxes are calculated as 2,500 under financial plan A, 4,500 under financial plan B, and 6,500 under financial plan C. Tax calculations were shown in the next slide. After deducting taxes, we got earnings after taxes of rupees 22,500 under financial plan A. 40,500 under financial plan B and rupees 58,500 under financial plan C. Now we need to calculate preference dividend. Preference dividend is calculated as rupees 1000 under all financial plans. Calculations were shown in the next slide. After subtracting preference dividend from earnings after taxes, we got Earnings available to ordinary shareholders of rupees 21,500 under financial plan A, rupees 39,500 under financial plan B, rupees 57,500 under financial plan C. Number of shares in the company are 3,000. We got earning per share of rupees 7.17 under financial plan A. By dividing earnings available to ordinary shareholders of rupees 21,500 with the number of shares of 3,000. Similarly, we got 13.17 earnings per share for financial plan B, rupees 19.17 earnings per share for financial plan C. We were asked to calculate change in EPS that is calculated as 83.7% for financial plan B and 45.6% for financial plan C. Dear students, I had given working notes in this slide. For financial plan A, interest is calculated as rupees 5000, taxes are calculated as rupees 2500. Preference student is calculated as rupees 1000. For financial plan B, interest is calculated as rupees 5000. Taxes are calculated as rupees 4500. Preference student is calculated as rupees 1000. Change in EPS is equal to 13.17 minus 7.17 by 7.17 into 100, which is equivalent to 
6 divided by 7.17 into 100, which is equal to 0 0.8368 into 100, that is equal to 83.7%. For financial plan C, interest is calculated as rupees 5000, taxes are calculated as rupees 6500, preference student is calculated as rupees 1000. Change in EPS is equal to 19.17 minus 13.17 by 13.17 into 100, that is equal to 6 by 13.17 into 100, that is equal to 0 0.4556 into 100, that is equal to 45.6%. Dear students, in this video, I had dealt with EBIT and EPS analysis case studies. Thank you.